Hi, in this uh, video I want to show how I'm going to make the Armor of uh, Fury. Uh, I want to tell a little bit about how I've done the collection of materials uh, so far and uh, what I'm going to do to uh, get the last remaining uh, of the materials. I hope uh, by sharing these tips uh, for other low spenders it will be possible to make some of the orange gear as well. Uh, I find this, uh, yeah, this is actually the only orange uh, armor uh, that I have, so it's uh, an easy choice uh, to make. Uh, I want to make it. It has, uh, um, yeah, compared to the uh, current uh, Gawain's breastplate, uh, the booth, the Bowman uh, Siege Infantry and Cavalry damage received is all better, and it has an additional boost as well. And what's quite important that it has an additional uh, gemstone socket uh, as well. So this one has two. And the Armor of Fury has uh, three, all of the same uh, type. So currently, if I'm going to look at it, uh, so what do I still need? Actually quite, uh, quite a lot. Uh, animal height, uh, bronze. But I've already collected, uh, and in Sapphire, I've looked at quite some materials uh, as well. So first a little bit about what I've done to collect those materials, the basic things that I, uh, I always do. Um, yeah, like every day probably uh, you do the same thing. Some things just, uh, just happen, like uh, using your stamina to slay uh, monsters, uh, to um, rally barbarian camps. That's getting you some of the materials. Uh, gathering resources also gets you some materials now and then. Those are basically things you, you always do anyway. Pay attention to seasonal events that sometimes also gets you, uh, uh, gets you some materials, but uh, most of the time you get those. Uh, yeah, you participate in the seasonal events by just doing the gathering and or the slaying monsters. So uh, that will get you some materials more or less automatically as well. Uh, another thing, which is just a very small thing, if you look at the uh, exchange building and the marketplace, so now and then there are offers that you can, for example, buy bronze for 8 gold instead of 20 gold. That's maybe just one material, but if you encounter it, uh, I, I suggest you always do it, because these basic materials, you always need a lot of it uh, for the higher uh, grade uh, gear, the more, so it's always good uh, to do that. Besides that, uh, I've already done that now, but every day doing your praise will get you three uh, small material chests, that's, uh, so three times uh, each uh, one of the basic uh, materials, so that's good to do always uh, as well. Uh, another thing that I sometimes do, not at the, at the moment, is uh, the, the using the lucky shot uh, for uh, materials. Um, so that's actually, uh, it, 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 that way you can get quite a lot of materials. So Lucky Shot is active if you have only, even only once made a purchase. I have made a purchase once, a small purchase, but it's look, yeah, the Lucky Shot is a very useful uh, uh, thing that you uh, get that is unlocked when you uh, purchase something. I'm actually using the, uh, the gemstone uh, screen now. Um, Let's look at the reward history uh, so that you can also see what, what I can still get. I mostly do it because of this Royal Valor gemstone, but actually also uh, the uh, refining stones that you get. The remaining refining stones are all higher level refining stones that are in there. Uh, those are also very uh, useful to refine those uh, stones. I have one uh, Valor uh, gem, uh, attack gem so far. But uh, yeah, being able to uh, upgrade those to a high level is also going to be very, uh, very useful. And actually materials, there are other ways to get materials. Uh, getting these uh, gemstones, the better gemstones, and these uh, refining stones, uh, I, I don't feel that they're a yeah, good way to get uh, many. So that's why now I, I focus with my lucky shot on, the, on those uh, gemstones instead. So that's just kind of a small uh, sidestep. <coughs> So another uh, way uh, that I'm uh, using, typically use uh, daily, is uh, looking at the alchemist uh, corner. So normally, uh, normally I pay a little bit more attention to this. But for example, here I have this uh, armor of bounty, 
uh, which I, I might make, I don't know. I uh, don't know if it's better actually than I currently uh, have, but I have two, I'm never going to make two. I'm, I don't tend to uh, enhance my uh, equipment because I find it too often too expensive uh, for the metal to uh, uh, to do that, uh, and and the uh, percentages normally only increase a very little bit, so I normally don't do that. So I'm going to uh, sell one of them, and uh, okay, I get some some credits for that. Normally I do that with all the uh, scrolls I'm not going to make, so it's typically scrolls involving things with. Uh, uh, traps I never make or yeah if I have already have something better I'm never going to make it so I sell all those that gives me some credits currently I have 16 on the 12 not so much probably can do quite a bit more and what I do for that I buy uh, materials where possible currently there's no material sometimes I also buy some steel uh, let's so well this slot actually all, all gives some uh, materials uh, or steel the, so you can always look at it actually I'm just showing it. They, these are so far the ones that are not that great, but Sapphire is is quite useful. You uh, tend to use that uh, quite a lot for some of the better equipment, Amethyst as well. So those I'm definitely going to get. Bronze always uh, useful. So those I'm going to uh, to uh, buy. <coughs> Horns I'm not so sure about. Well, if you have uh, if you have something that you don't want there. Uh, you can just uh, click free for the free refresh, so you can refresh a few times. Amber, also find it interesting. Bronze, again, 15 bronze, good. Buy it. So this way you get quite some uh, materials that you might uh, want, you might need. Um, so actually you can also get some... Uh, um <coughs> actually you, you can also get some... Uh, uh, some gem gemstones uh, here. <coughs> uh, inventory health. I already got some. If you don't have, well, it's uh, interesting to uh, to get those there as well. And and actually, two thousand sounds a lot, but you can uh, get that quite easy if you have enough scrolls. And I I tend to have a lot of scrolls because I keep uh, 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 killing monsters, and that gives quite some uh, scrolls. Uh, so let's. Uh, I got. I, I don't think I need it. And when 30, I find a bit, uh, a bit much to just. Uh, oh, and and source down one and definitely don't need. Well, anyway, I, I normally do it each day, and then I get uh, I get some uh, uh, some more materials, and that's a good way to get some extra materials. It's again, it's not huge amounts, but it's uh, it's nice. So this is what I do normally to build up my material, irrespective of the. Uh, uh, the uh, the gear I want to manufacture. This is just to build up my general amount of materials that I uh, have. Uh, so there are once you uh, uh, once I get close to making a certain gear, what I'm I'm uh, the situation I'm in now, uh, then I uh, look at some other ways as well. Then I'm going to say, okay, actually I I now am willing to spend some uh, gold or or other credits that I have to buy uh, materials. And, I, and I'm in, in that stage uh, now. So one of the things that I'm going to look at uh, is uh, uh, the merchant fair actually to uh, uh, buy uh, materials. Well, buy materials, you don't buy materials here directly, but actually you can uh, buy uh, gear, really uh, completely complete uh, gear uh, pieces. And those gear pieces uh, yeah, the, you can dismantle them, dismantle them to get uh, materials. If you look at uh, Gawain's uh, breastplate, for example, you can uh, buy that for uh, 1900, uh, almost uh, 20,000. But uh, if you uh, yeah, look at what the materials are in there, it actually is worth more than this uh, uh, 20,000. So one of the ways uh, that I'm looking at uh, things is saying, okay, I want to uh, uh, buy some pieces that I'm going to dismantle and uh, and I want to do that if I find uh, pieces that actually are cheaper than buying the, uh, the materials directly. As you know, uh, you can go, I, I can go to the blacksmith and say, okay, here, I want to just buy, okay, then you buy 20 
called for the simple uh, like animal hide and bronze you buy uh, you pay 20 gold uh, materials uh, sapphire even 400 uh, gold so that is, uh, is is quite a lot but it's uh, it's possible uh, to do that uh, but uh, typically you can get uh, you can get it a lot cheaper if you look at this uh, merchant fair so that's one way to look at it i'm going to do that uh, later another way that what is these days uh, working quite well is the black market initially uh, when the black market was introduced uh, people often for some reason i don't know why but they overpaid by uh, buying things in the black market so actually a zero site you can buy for 20 gold per piece so you would uh, it, yeah it, it doesn't make sense in my eyes to pay more than six uh, six thousand for 300 zero site but you saw people paying six thousand ten or or whatever or even more very weird same thing for uh, pine and the other uh, basic uh, materials if you look now uh, i hope that's still the case i looked at it uh, earlier well, 6,000, still strange, 6,000 uh, for pine, but uh, often you see lower prices like 5,600, that makes more sense. And when I looked through it earlier, I saw a lot of prices between uh, uh, 4,000, uh, 5,500. Here, 5,000 for the bronze and uh, 5,400 for the pine. Those kind of things make more sense. So actually you can get a reasonable discount here, 5,000 for the, you know, instead of 6,000, uh, 4,700. So people do buy it uh, cheaper uh, now. Those uh, chests, by the way, the material chest can also be uh, quite uh, interesting if you want to have a lot. Actually one material chest is worth, uh, worth 80. So uh, having uh, one 6,000 for 100, if you need all the materials, that's actually also quite a good uh, buy. And in the end, all the simple materials, you typically do need uh, a lot uh, of them. So that's quite, uh, uh, quite, uh, quite, uh, quite interesting way. You can get some discount, not huge discounts often. Uh, well, I mean, they are quite huge actually, but I mean, it's not like you get them for half the price, uh, but uh, yeah, can be significant. So this is to some extent a good, uh, good way as well, I would say, to try to get some materials instead of uh, buying them in the forge uh, directly. Another way, I mean, there are other credits that you can use uh, for the Merlin trials. I tend to save up my credits and not spend them uh, a lot so that you can also redeem them. Uh, yeah, just you, you get those credits uh, after each, I've already claimed them, but uh, after each day uh, when a, a trial is closed again, then you can actually go there and you can claim uh, some uh, of these uh, credits uh, based on your leaderboard uh, position. Uh, so that can be quite a lot if you uh, if you're doing uh, well. I've accumulated this uh, amount, not that huge, but you can buy some nice uh, materials for that. So, what is interesting here in this shop is that uh, the price ratio between uh, the materials in these credits is quite different from the price ratio in gold. If you look here, for example, if you look at the basic materials, animal hide, pine, cerocide and bronze, you pay 19 uh, for those, 19 gold. And you pay, uh, sorry, 19 credits, while you pay uh, 20 gold in, um, in the forge. And if you look at uh, sapphire, you pay 74, less than uh, four times the amount of the basic uh, materials. But uh, Sapphire buying that in Forge costs you 400, which is 20 times uh, as much as the basic materials. So that ratio is very different. This means uh, actually buying, uh, if, if you're going to buy materials, it's much better to buy the Sapphires in this, uh, if you need Sapphires, for example, same holds for Amethyst and Ember to a lesser extent as well. To buy these with the credits, and buy uh, as much as possible and buy uh, yeah use maybe gold or other ways to to buy the the basic materials bronze cerocide pine and uh, an animal height what you might uh, need it's interesting something to keep uh, keep in mind so if i'm going to now uh, look again at uh, the orange armor of fury that i want to uh, craft uh, first thing uh, to look at um, okay i have my Gawain's breastplate. Once I make the other one, I don't need it anymore. I don't mind being without one for a while. 
So what do I get when I dismantle this? So that is 1440 animal hide, 720 bronze, some emerald and a ruby as well, and of course my uh, gemstones. Those I uh, I don't uh, add. Those others I don't need, but at, uh, at the moment, but those animal hide and bronze are going to be useful as well. Now I've already done some calculations, so I know what approximately I still need, and I've been looking at uh, what uh, yeah what I could buy first at the at this uh, merchant fair. So actually, uh, if I'm going to buy, um, and, and I have a list of, uh, of all uh, uh, gear pieces on, uh, on my website, uh, that can be quite useful for this. Uh, so I looked, uh, looked around a bit. I mean, in, on, the, on the website, you can just uh, type an animal height, and then you see all gear pieces that use animal height, and how much they use of it, how much do they use with the other materials. And then it's just a, a bit of... Uh, matching kind of what uh, yeah what gear pieces would I like to uh, buy uh, in here uh, to get those uh, materials so one of them uh, one of the combinations that I look at, was looking at is if I can buy an army armor of bounty a purple one or Gawain's best breastplate that will give me 1430 animal height and 720 bronze and if I then also buy a purple warrior strides, boots of speed or royal greaves, that is going to give me 720 animal height and it costs me 1300 gold. And with a purple berserker protector, uh, blessed wrath or guardian helm, I get uh, 1080 bronze and that's going to cost me 1355 gold. The total 46,720 uh, and for that I get almost all of the basic materials that I need which uh, cost me, uh, yeah, I, I almost need, uh, need a total of uh, 4,000 still so it would cost me almost 80,000 but instead I pay uh, only 46,000 so that is really a very significant uh, discount in total. Maybe not uh, yeah, not all of the pieces are uh, uh, giving me uh, at that good ratio, but uh, but in total it's a very good uh, good deal. So I, I will just show you how that uh, works. So let's let's first look for the uh, guardian helm, the blessed wrath, or the berserker protector. I have to look at the bottom. Uh, I think. Oh. That was my accident. Uh, th those plus ones are enhanced. I don't need that because then you pay extra for the steel, not for the uh, not for the materials. And I'm only looking for the materials at this moment. Uh, the berserker protector was uh, one of them. Let's see what kind of price I can get. Well, that is actually a bit too much. I have seen it cheaper. So let's see if I can see another piece that is. Uh, so that is for the price I've seen previously as well. The best red throw. 1300, 455. So I'm going to buy that. Uh, by one uh, actually I forgot does that end up uh, probably uh, I'm just going to look in my armory and equipment yeah it ends up there directly uh, this is quite a nice piece, but uh, I have uh, I have better. Uh, so I'm going to dismantle that right away, and that is going to give me that uh, at uh, 1080 uh, bronze, 
and actually also 360 pine which is going to be quite useful as well emerald ruby i'm not so sure about i think it's mostly used for uh, at, at best purple materials not for the orange ones so those are not so uh, so useful but this is quite uh, useful so at, at some extent the pine i'm sure i'm going to use so you can say you've paid uh, 1400 uh, 1400 basic materials um, that is worth um, uh, that's worth uh, 28,000 and I paid only uh, 13,000 for it. So that's a great, uh, great deal. I'm going to dismantle it. So that was the, the breastplate. I'm going to do the same now, trying to see whether I can do that uh, for the, the Boots of Speed or the Royal Greaves or the Purple Warrior Strides. I already looked at that, uh, as I said before, so that I know what I want to have. Um, uh, so, I, yeah, it, it does. It, it's good to monitor this a bit so that you know what is the what are the cheap uh, prices and what uh, um, the Royal Greaves was one of them. So I know that 13 yeah that is kind of the cheapest price that i've seen in a while so i'm i'm going to uh, buy that one and then uh, the last part that i'm going to take is a purple armor of bounty or a Gwyn's breastplate um, Gwyn's breastplate at 1900 and I believe that was the cheapest that I've seen let's see if I see an armor of bounty uh, armor of bounty yeah so that is the the cheapest uh, price at least it currently is and also the cheapest I've seen so I'm going to buy that uh, as well Um, it's going to. It, it cost me quite a large sum of my uh, gold, which is uh, unfortunate, but okay. Uh, armor of bounty is actually. You can. It's quite a nice. Uh, check. <laughs> actually, quite nice, uh, but okay. I'm, uh, I shouldn't get uh, distracted. I mean, I can also always buy another one if I want. I'm now focusing on getting the materials. Okay, um, now it is time to um dismantle my Gawain's breastplate as well and now I should I, I'm not there yet but I should be getting quite close to my requirements for the basic uh, materials not completely yet um, so I still have to I'm just going to buy those uh, 20 uh, animal height there are in theory uh, maybe uh, at cheaper ways but uh, for the purpose of this video I'm just going to spend the 400 and what I'm missing still now is the 54 uh, of those sapphires I mentioned one is 400 gold but uh, yeah, I don't want to spend that much so for that I'm going to look at spending my credits from the Merlin trials so sapphires uh, this is a large chunk as well but the piece is, is good so I'm spending 4,000 of my credits um, so now I should have everything that is required to uh, make this and I've yeah I've spent a, a fair chunk of the of the gold uh, 4,600 uh, um, plus the extra that I spent, so let's say 4,700. Uh, 4, 
let's say for yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I said it uh, forty-seven thousand. I should say sorry, forty-seven thousand. I was uh, missing one zero, forty-seven thousand. Uh, but okay, I'm. Uh, I think it's it's worth it. And actually, I mostly spend it on the uh, the basic materials, and that's going to be worth it uh, anyway. So I'm now going to go to the I have all the materials, so now I'm going to uh, forge it. So that, uh, that was it. I'm not going to speed it up. I think I'm just going to wait for it to be finished. Um, so I hope that gives you some idea how you can uh, still yeah, get quite good equipment um, without spending a lot of, uh, of money, but just doing the normal gameplay. It's important to collect a lot of gold uh, so that you can actually use the gold on buying materials. I find it really one of the good things to do with the gold. I don't do that many things with gold. What I do do with gold is renew my uh, activate my VIP. I do always 30 day VIP activation that I buy. Um, for the rest, I do, if I'm not going to be active during kill events, I'm uh, normally shielding for 24 hours. I'm not, I don't have that many, uh, that good combat boost yet, and it's very easy to get zeroed by one hit uh, with people that have a lot of the, a lot of the Valor gems. So I'm, uh, I'm shielding a lot during the, during the kill events. Uh, and I use the small amounts of gold uh, when doing my uh, daily donations. But for the rest, I participate in a lot of events. I get a lot of gold, so I accumulate a lot of gold. Uh, I always put gold in uh, in the bank. Um, my dragon spirit is quite uh, okay. So currently, uh, for example, this uh, in this uh, dragon spirit uh, arena, um, I hope to probably I will be able to rank with the first uh, 500. Gives a nice. Uh, yeah, I'm just giving an example. That's it. That's all generating some some gold for me, and I participate in events as much as possible to get gold. The gold is uh, yeah going to be very useful for now, increasing uh, my equipment. And the equipment, uh, I mean, it's quite nice. Armor Fury uh, that it is. It has some extra boost, but what's also in the end going to be very important is the additional uh, gemstone slot that you have. That is the benefit of the higher. Uh, higher material, higher uh, equipment as well, higher level equipment. Because uh, yeah, if you're, I, I hope to eventually get there as well. But actually, a lot of the boost for the for the big players comes from the gemstones, uh, and not, uh, I mean, also from the equipment itself to some extent. But a lot comes from the uh, gemstones. Okay, um, it's, uh, it's become a bit longer than I planned. Uh, thanks for uh, watching this video. If you have any uh, questions about this or if you have any suggestions, please uh, feel free to, uh, to share.